Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. And today I have another fabulous box, I'm sure, from the Craft and Tea Box that has been sent to me for review. And it also marks the beginning of this stint where I'm going to have two videos for you every single day from now all the way through the end of the year and a little bit into January. That is just because I have a ton of fabulous boxes to share with you, a lot of great gift giving ideas for not only the holidays but also the new year. It's always good to have boxes that help you stay on track with those resolutions, but also because I'm planning on doing some really fun series where you get to open some advent boxes with me day by day, as well as enjoy the 12 days of Christmas with the boxes that were designed for that. So I hope that you will join me for some of that, as well as our regular unboxings that we have every month. There will, of course, be some giveaways. Always be on the lookout for secret passwords. And if you are part of the Nobot Nook or you just come to some of the live streams we will probably be doing a gift exchange as well so again lots of announcements happen over on the community tab so make sure that you are subscribed and that you have that notification bell turned on so back to the craft and tea box now this has been once again sent to me for review they got kind of a new label that keeps it closed and of course it says creativity because the lo I love that this box kind of tells you what it's all about just by the name right yes you get a wonderful craft kit to try out as well as now two bags of delicious tea. The whole idea is to give yourself a little bit of me time to shut off those screens for a little while, do something with your hands, do something tactile, maybe challenge yourself to try a craft that you've never tried before, whether you consider yourself a crafty person or not. And then of course, just to enjoy the slowdown of this season and enjoying some delicious, delicious tea from some great small businesses. So I love the intent and I think it is such a fabulous idea. I hope that some of you consider giving the subscription as as a gift so let me just tell you all of the prices because now they are shipping out of Canada they ship to Canada of course to the US but also the UK so the box itself is 58 Canadian that is around $45 US and around 37 pounds of course that alternates from day to day it changes from day to day so definitely check those conversion rates now the shipping is $8.95 in Canada of course in Canadian dollars it is $6.95 Canadian to the US which is around 525 so you're looking at just over $50 to have the whole thing shipped to you in the US and then it is 1095 Canadian to ship to the UK which is around four and a half pounds at time of conversion so I have a code for you. It is Noel25, and that will save you 25%. And you have a couple of days now, that's it, to get in on this November box. So you always have until the last day of the preceding month. So obviously, if you wanna be surprised, don't watch the rest of it, but I know a lot of us like to know what the upcoming craft is. I also have the December box in store, so be on the lookout for that. I'll try to get that out in a little more of a timely fashion for you, so you have a little more time. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Now, I did take a quick sneak peek because I had to differentiate which one was the December box and which one was the November box and I found that now she usually has a very beautiful little insert that tells us all about uh, the company that created the craft kit as well as the teas but mine was not in the box so I had Sam the owner of the craft and tea box send me the QR code and uh, the digital information so that I can share it with you guys but usually you will get that now, I'm, I'm glad because this is kind of an in-depth one. This is like a craft that I have always wanted to try, but um, I don't have any knitting or crocheting skills, so I think this is going to be a tough one for me, so I'm going to need those step-by-step -step instructions. Before we get there, though, we did get one of our little door hangers, which I think is great. Again, kind of adding to that idea of leave me alone. I'm going to do some crafting. I'm going to enjoy my nice pot of tea and then mom or wife will come back and enjoy <laughs> the rest of the time with you. But I'll also show you this amazing craft that I made. So um, and I love when people make gifts for the season as well. So maybe this is something that you already do and you can like bang these out and you just got a couple extra supplies or maybe some new techniques. So the card, if I had it, would say it's time to get crafty. T again, T E A. Your November box has arrived. It's time to get in the Christmas spirit. Here's to ugly Christmas sweaters, mistletoe smooches, family time, and gaining 10 pounds in one week. Or if that's the case, then there's like, you know, eight weeks in the holiday season. That can be very, very dangerous. And then you get to spend the whole rest of the next year trying to get rid of those pounds. All right, so the theme is this is pretty cute, you guys. Brudolph. Do you get it? Do you have an idea of what the craft is yet? 
So um, you will be learning how to do a little crocheted animal, a little amigurumi, which I love those. I've gotten some of them. Once upon a time, there was a box called Curated and Hottie, and we would often get a little amigurumi, and they were just like the cutest little guys. So I don't have the card to share with you because I don't have a color printer, but it says this month you'll be learning how to crochet a super cute and festive two and a half to three inch tall reindeer to display in your home year after year or give as a unique gift. The skill level for this craft is great for a beginner. So what I did is I went ahead and used the QR code so that I can show you guys Hopefully it shows up on my phone. How cute is that little guy? And you can see that they actually put uh, the craft and tea box on this site So they kind of like skinned it so it's a craft and tea directions and then you guys look at all of the directions here It's very in-depth. We've got pictures for every step along the way, which I think is super duper awesome um, And then of course we've got lots of information and even other tutorials So I'm really happy because like I said, I've never done any real crocheting or knitting so for me this is going to be very very challenging but seeing these very very detailed instructions makes me happy so yes we have the body the ears the legs the muzzle the nose tail body oh geez antlers I feel like this is a lot of parts for <laughs> I feel like I needed to learn how to just make a ball maybe like stick some googly eyes on it and call it a frog so this is what the kit looks like. It came in a nice little bag. Um, so of course you would have that QR code to use, but it's nice that you can kind of um, kind of tuck it away if you don't have like a craft room, like I don't have a craft room, and, and you need to just um, put things away at the end of the day or the end of the evening, you can definitely do that. And it is from the animalcrochetstore.com, but again, it's kind of on the craft, kind of living on the craft and tea website. So. Obviously, we've got our yarn. It looks like we've got lots of little bits for um, fastening the eyes. So I can see those little black plugs are probably for the eyes that you fasten on the other side. We've got our like plastic crochet needle. I'm not sure what the other parts are. We've got our dark brown. Oh, here we go. Here's our hook. Here's our hook. We got the tools to do it. So this is the kind of stuff where I wouldn't necessarily have it. We have some stuffing, some like not necessarily. I don't know. I think you just call it fill, right? To uh, so you create the body. It's mostly in that beige color. We got the red for his little nose, and then the of course the accents are going to be um, his feet, his hooves, and his his antlers and the other colors, and a little bit of white for his belly. So let me go ahead and show you the image one more time. So if any of you guys are really good at amigurumi, I'm gonna need some moral support for that one. So let me blow him up so you can see him once again. Isn't that cute? I think that's cute. Mine will probably not look anything like that, but I will give it my best shot, you guys. All right, let's find out about our tea. Now, it looks like we got a lot. It says, this month we've chosen two teas from Plum Deluxe Tea. Based out of Portland, this company has been on our radar for a while. Your classic tea, so there's always a classic and then like a wild card, so a little more adventurous one. So the classic tea is Soul Warmer, so this is that one. It says herbal tea. It's hazelnut, caramel, and chestnut. Doesn't that sound good? Especially perfect for the season. Being their bestseller, we knew it would be a great fit for our November winter box. So it's says this is one ounce it's so pretty you can see like bits of purple in it you guys see those bits of purple in there i think that's really cool and then it says this month's wild card is porch sipping pecan praline oh wow so that's like a very like dark tea it's also got some bits of like red in there this looks like it's uh, this looks bigger so no it's one ounce too it's just like slightly different like packages no same packages it's just this one the the gussets kind of more expanded so this is our second tea um so it says a black tea pairs with rich cinnamon chips and actual pecans all right so those both sound very perfect for fall slash winter so delicious and they have a beautiful image of a spoonful of it but of course I can't show you guys that but it looks like you guys let me know in the comments below which of these teas would you be more into the soul warmer with the uh, hazelnut caramel and chestnut that's the one I'm going for or the porch sip and pecan black tea now normally I like a I really do like a black tea over an herbal tea because I like the caffeine um, but I uh, so this one is caffeinated, this one not caffeinated. So I, but I think the other one just sounds so good. Maybe with like a little biscotti or something to go along with it. it sounds really delicious to me. And then it looks like we might have gotten like a little bonus here, which is kind of cute. So it says tea pop, peppermint tea, gourmet tea. Oh, it dissolves in water. So kind of like one of those like ones that you drop in. That's pretty cute. And what a cute little package. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's like got a little wand, so you actually get to stir it, and it's in the shape of a star. That is so cute. So it says tea on a stick. 
huh and I do love me a peppermint tea I love peppermint things for winter it just seems wintry somehow so I think that was like a little extra for the month of November so I thought this was a cute box it's a craft that I've I kind of knew she was gonna have this eventually and I was like very nervous about anything that has to do with anything like knitting or crochet and I'm like ah, it's gonna be challenging because I don't understand it totally. I'm gonna have to like watch a bunch of videos and look at a bunch of diagrams and then undo a bunch of stuff all the time because I'm gonna probably mess it up. But like I said, I would love some moral support and let me know if you're an Amigurumi expert in the comments below if you think you could uh, do this little Brudolph super duper cute super cute theme and which of those two teas would be your pick I hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please do give it a thumbs up and like I said you got a couple days you just got until the end of the month to get in on this one maybe send it to someone who you know is really good at this kind of thing and maybe they'll give you their Brudolph I'll see you all very very soon in my next unboxing